The Great War is over. All we want is to return home. To the new republic, born in the heart of Europe. But we are stuck as the escalating civil war blocks the direct path to the west. The only way out is to the east, through territory disputed between the red and white armies. We have to take an armored train across Siberia, and then safe passage home by ship. It is our only chance to survive this long journey. It might be our last train home. Well, good morning, and welcome aboard, everybody, to Last Train Home, out now, right now on Steam, for those of you curious. And I noticed it's 15% off, too, and there was a lot of hype around this game on the channel, and it looks very cool. I've played a bunch of it with the demo and a review copy that I was able to get in advance, uh, courtesy of the developers in THQ Nordic, so thank you to them for sending over a key when we showed a video off a few days ago. And now we begin our fresh new journey uh, for the release of Last Train Home. So uh, yeah, uh, taking place after World War I, Czechoslovak uh, Legion pushing eastward to try to get home, and uh, yeah, the war is done for them, but the battle to get home continues. Very cool so far, I must say. I really like how the um, trains kind of repre represent the generator from Frostpunk and a lot of the... The train itself reminds me of the city from Frostpunk, managing fuel like coal and, you know, wood for repairs of train cars and things like that and, and food and things along those lines. And then the missions play a lot, very much like uh, Company Heroes in many ways with taking cover and uh, although you can I individually control each of the squad mates. So there's a few elements of what you would expect from like a turn-based strategy game with how you uh, manage your troops uh, in terms of like giving them, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure you can give everybody a different weapon to different skills, both on the train and off the train. And this has an incredible amount of depth that is just uh, almost overwhelming. So if you're a big fan of like uh, War Tales, for example, there's like a world map that operates like that. The train itself operates like Frostpunk and the missions operate like Company Heroes. And I like all those games, like those are really cool. And uh, so this is a great mix of them all. And uh, a very well done game from a Czech developer. So uh, yeah, the Czech um, developers of Europe are just like pumping out great games. So, you know, good job. Um, Czech Republic, good job Slovakia for putting out games like uh, City, I'm sorry, uh, Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and Poland's pumping out good stuff too. So great to see stuff outside of like, you know, France with Ubisoft and you know, Sweden and some other heavy hitters in Europe. So good to them. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this is kind of based on a true story. What we're about to play is a work of fiction, but is also historically accurate in many ways. Yeah, it's a mix of both. Um, but it's gamified, right, to be fun and to mix some things up. So anyway, we're going to start completely from the beginning, as I'd mentioned, and we're going to start a brand new journey on probably like the normal difficulty because there is a lot of stuff to learn here. I mean, there, there's a lot of systems and things we could miss and maybe not even learn until halfway through the game that would have helped us at the beginning, for example. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and jump in for our first look at now the full release of Last Train Home, out now on Steam, 15% uh, off for a few days for its release. I think this is only on PC, not multiplayer, um, but is very fun and very challenging and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, pulls at the heartstrings a little bit for the struggle of these soldiers just trying to go home. All right, let's begin a new journey. New member, welcome. And thank you very much, Christy, for the 19 months. Appreciate the support. Uh, yeah, so one great thing about this game, too, is that you can turn a ton of stuff on and off. So there's like... Uh, Oh, there's like uh, different difficulties too. Wow, look at that. Oh, these are all presets, so this will change some things. So this will change things like food and fuel consumption, train damage, uh, morale, uh, damage received from enemies, that kind of thing. Okay, so if you want a little easier experience, you can turn it down. So road trip being the easiest, tactician, it's basically like very easy, easy, normal, and 
I guess I wouldn't say hard, maybe realistic for Commander. Option for those who enjoy the meant, uh, meant to play the game the way it's meant to be played. Okay. I think we should do that then. We'll go with Commander. Um, but there are easier options. So if we struggle, you know, kind of that's the way to turn it back now. Also, I think there's only one save in this game. Oh, and there's even, wow, and there's even an auto pause option. So you can have the game automatically pause if uh, a soldier dies or if repair or research is finished. Okay. Hopefully these are options you can turn on and off in the uh, options in the game. Like, I feel like these options, just to pause, should be something you should be able to change at any time. That's cool. Wow. Incredible depth on that, uh, on the options. That's great. Oh, wait a minute. Commander. Uh, face a variety of challenges both on the battlefield and behind a desk. Quartermaster. Uh, challenge of running the train like a fine-tuned machine instead of engaging in complex tactical battles. Well, that says difficulty preset, but the, wor the, the verbiage here kind of implies that one is kind of more about... Like, this seems to be more about managing the train with auto battles, and this one seems to be the full experience. I'm not sure, but it, it's probably just a change to the difficulty, because as you can see, when we change that, it does change some of the settings here. Down state versus easy. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll go commander. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, and it looks like you can change the difficulty at any time. During the Great War, later known as World War I, the Czechoslovak Legion was commissioned to fight on Russia's behalf in exchange for support for an independent Czechoslovak Republic. However, the Great War exacted tremendous loss of life and economic collapse in Russia, igniting a revolution that deposed the Tsar and devolved into a bloody civil war. The Bolsheviks established the Red Army to consolidate power and rule over a united Russia, whereas the White Army rallied to oppose the Reds. The Czechoslovak Legion was now in a very delicate position, an armed force in a foreign land with no clear allegiance to the Reds or Whites. Moreover, Russia's western borders were still held by powers opposing the establishment of Czechoslovakia. Thus, the Czechoslovak Provisional Government ordered the Legionaries to remain neutral and travel eastward to Vladivostok to board ships back to Europe. Nonetheless, during its evacuation via the Trans-Siberian Railway, the Legion became embroiled in armed conflicts affecting the course of the Russian Civil War. Now, we learn the story of The Last Train Home, a work of fiction inspired by the writings of a brilliant member of the Czechoslovak Legion and a veritable instrument of history. The story begins with an ambitious captain under the command of Major Gazdik who leads the last unit of Czechoslovak legionaries, headed to Vladivostok by armored train. If you look at the Steam store page for this game too, it actually features like IRL, um, they've, they've actually taken a train, a real train, and soldiers who are wearing accurate uh, garments of the period, so like soldiers' uniforms and doctors' uniforms and whatnot. There's actual like full, like they filmed a movie basically for a lot of the cutscenes for this game. So uh, a lot of the cutscenes are actually filmed on a train with some of the soldiers who are supposed to be the characters in this game. And it's really, really well done. I mean, some of it's shot in the winter, some of it seems to be shot in the summer. Um, I mean, they, they fought like, they, they, they basically shot these. Uh, at, like these uh, movies of like an actual battle going on and put them into the game in the game's trailer. So you can see all those just on the Steam store page, which is absolutely amazing. Also, just to clarify, um, 
The game is fully available in uh, Czech uh, and Russia. Like, there's actual, uh, whatever nationality the troops are, they'll speak in those languages, including the cutscene, like a full immersion mode. Of course, we're playing in English, just so everyone can understand. That's mostly the language we all speak here. And then there's also English and, uh, sorry, French and German available, too. So you can play fully in French, fully in German. Or like the immersion mode, which is the Russians speak Russian, so on and so forth. And then also English, where everyone speaks English too. So, I mean, there's, it, they put in a lot of work. Not to just make that a secondary thought, but it's baked into the game too. Cheer up, Captain. The train needs a checkup and we can be on our way. I heard you bragged you'd be a bit Yep, this just came out I am. about an hour so, ago. Let's see how well you do in command. This is available for Let's everyone right now. Go trade with the local miller while the rest of the legionaries look after the train. It's not a sponsored stream or anything. They haven't paid me a penny to play this, but I just want to be informative to you guys who may ask. So uh, if anybody asks any of the information that I've shared, feel welcome to share it again in the chat. More people may ask if this is available in uh, the Czech language or uh, if it's out now or if, if there's a sale. So you can kind of uh, share that information. Okay, we got a lot to do. So uh, we've got multiple New soldier members. types. Welcome. Hey, Time Weaver, thanks for the 36 months, ma'am. Appreciate it. We got a sniper, a machine gunner, medic, and a rifleman. We'll eventually have grenadiers and other things to, uh, to manage, including health. This is going to be a big game. Say the word. So let's get to it. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. It's going to be a long day. Understood. I smell smoke. That's not good. Hurry up. Yes, sir. All the destroyed. Fortunately, it seems nobody was around to get hurt. Oh. Hurry and collect the sacks with food supplies before they burn too. Well, that's not nice. I'll see to it. Changing look. Yes. I'm all ears. Sir. I'll take a look. It's over. Winter is coming. Yes, sir. Who in their right mind would burn a flour mill? We have to talk to the miller. The farmhouse is nearby. Let's go. I'm waiting. Moving. Okay, we gotta find the miller now. Understood. Game is beautiful too, by the way. These maps are just incredibly detailed. This is the Miller's house. If someone is still alive in there, it is our duty to try and help. This kind of reminds me of the amount of cover and detail you see in like a turn-based game. All oh, pumpkins, let's go. I'll see to it. Someone lying there. This cutscene might be a little quiet, so just listen up. Moving. Are you here to kill me now? No, ma'am. We are Czechoslovak legionaries on our way to Vladivostok. We wanted to buy supplies from your mill, but found it burning. Who did this? Bolsheviks. They demanded we hand over our winter supplies in the name of Lenin. My son refused. We have a family to feed, he said. So they killed him. And the children. These soldiers are all the same. Killing is all you know. Just leave and let me die in peace. If the Bolsheviks wanted food, why did they leave the sacks to burn with the mill? It was never about the food. This is what you get for refusing to collaborate with the Red Army. The Reds who burned this farm may not know we are here, but we can't risk the train. Find a good spot to scout the train track ahead. If there's trouble, at least we'll be ready. More food there. Let's go back and get that. Yes, I'll see to it, sir. I'm waiting. Understood. All right. We gotta look out for little white dots in the mini map to find all the supplies. Think, sir. Pretty sure every mission Moving. has some sort of supplies you can get: wood, cloth, coal, food, maybe machine parts and some other things like that. Eat the pumpkins. I'm ready. Finding cover. Yeah, we should bring those back and then we can carve them. Yes, sir. We can have a pumpkin carving competition. Ready, sir. I'll take a look. 
Understood. I'm listening. Send someone with binoculars to that ledge. A scout. Now, Captain. All right, let's find out what's going on. Look, it's the Reds who killed the Miller's family and burned everything. They deserve to die. Stand down, soldier. The Red Army will answer for crimes against their own country folk, but not to us. We are still in Russian lands and have a long way ahead of us. We don't want to be making enemies. Not to mention causing diplomatic incidents that endanger our new republic. <sighs> Enough chatter. Get back to the train. Maybe we can find more supplies on the way. Okay. We can do that. Orders. Finding cover. All right, let's look around. We don't want to miss nothing. Understood. Little bridge here. Yes, sir. Hey, there's some apples. I'm here. Let's see what's there. Let's hope it's good. And medical supplies? Ammo. Nice. Your horde moving now. Yes, sir. Assuming position. Taking position. More food there. And there too. Yes. Our pride open then. Looks like cloth. Your order. Yes, sir. Let's hope it's good. Yes. Moving. Yes. Looks like Man of War. Yeah, it's got a little bit to I'm do with okay. that. Feel like Go. Man of War, Company Heroes. Certainly plays a little bit like that. Orders. Collecting things from around the battlefield yes, like that kind of reminds me of Company Heroes, where then the resources get to, to be used uh, kind of in like a pool. But uh, definitely, Men of War has the ability in Cult Arms too, where you can go around and grab like an enemy machine gun Understood. and ammo and stuff like that. I'm Our soldiers haven't seen action for a while. How about some target practice on the scarecrows? Yeah, I completely agree. The the train part reminds me of definitely of War Tales. This part is like Company Heroes, maybe Call to Arms. Uh, the train management is like Frostpunk, and yeah, the, uh, traveling around the world map is definitely like War Tales. Understood. That's a little lake over there. I think we got. Oh, there's more. Oh, certainly. Your orders, Snyo. Understood, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Maybe there's stuff under the bridge? Moving. Okay, that should be everything. Taking cover. Go shoot some pumpkins. I'll see to it. All these scarecrows have pumpkin heads. Talking, more shooting. Oh, nice. And the hat goes flying. <laughs> Taking aim. Take that, Baba Yaga. Moving. Good job. Yes, sir. I hope we didn't miss anything. Legionaries leave no one behind. Bring the whole squad here before giving the command to leave. That's everybody. Although, no orders. Understood. just to be sure, let's check this upper left corner. I'm waiting. Every little bag of supplies could count. Your orders, sir. Moving out. 
Okay, we're good. Take your position. All right, let's RTT. Return to train. Look at that train. That is beautiful. That's a really good looking train. There's actually three different trains in the game too. There's like a balanced train, which is both fast and armored. There's a fast train, which has less armor, but then obviously is faster because it's lighter. And then there's the heavy big boy, which is fuel inefficient and slow, but ain't gonna be destroyed as easy. All right, let's assign some medals, I guess, right? Or can we not do that this time? Not yet, okay. Mission complete. All of our objectives. Used ammunition. The journey begins. As you and the others board the train empty-handed, discussion ensues about... Empty, empty-handed? We brought back tons of stuff. A discussion ensues about recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You're lost in thought about the experience of being in command. Major Gazdick grabs you by the shoulder, snapping you out of it. You did well, Captain, but you should stop bragging and start playing the role you were here uh, that you hoped for. Today you learned the bread and butter of commanding. Never Things never go the way you imagine. Uh, we shouldn't have just let the Reds leave. They should pay for their actions, killing people and st uh, stealing and destroying food. Our provisional government said that we should avoid conflicts. We cannot go around passing sentences as we see fit. We need to follow orders. Uh, the situation affected was affected because Maximilian has the trait intelligent. Uh, look what they do to their own people. What do you imagine if what they'll do to us if we actually face them? Considering we are a sizable military force in their country while civil war is brewing. We have to be neutral, we're soldiers, and follow orders. Think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians. We have to follow orders. Either way, I bet they would scatter if we faced them. They'd be thrilled to see us there. I bet they'd tell everyone how the Czechoslovak legionnaire shot an honest mili uh, mili a miller and his family, burned the mill, and left the food to be destroyed. Shall we proceed to Moscow then as planned, or are we expecting trouble? We will go to Moscow to pick up future, my future advisor, Captain Langer. He's currently working to negotiate our safe patch, passage to Vladivostok. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Mm, fruit. Indeed. Speaking of fruit, since we didn't manage to replenish our supplies, we'll need to stop at the next station to do so. Missed. Well, all right, we brought we brought some food. Not, not all that we need, though. The journey begins. Now we got to go to Suknichi. Robert, thank you for the three months. A dystopian railroad tycoon game. Sid Meier is smiling. Oh, yeah, for sure. So you can play the whole game like this, where you're looking at the train. And you can even zoom out and see the map, which is why this is kind of like War Tales with how it kind of appears. Although, of course, we're a train, so we have to stay on the railroad. But maybe eventually there'll be different paths we can take. There's like a large world map where you can go different routes, but maybe when you're on those different routes, there's even like other separate routes to go that lead to the same destination. But we can manage the train, its crew, all the soldiers on it, the doctors. We have an artillery car. We have uh, cars for everybody to sleep in, storage, and hospital car. And we're at our destination. A fateful encounter. The train stops several dozen meters before the station. There's another train blocking your path. You and the others exit the train. You're greeted with brave silence and a few rifles aimed in your direction from the near, uh, from near the station. Towards you, a tall Red Army officer is walking, accompanied by two soldiers. Greetings, Legionnaires. My name is Adam Morozov. Who is in command of your unit? Major Gazdik steps out of, off the train and shakes... Morozov's hand firmly. You glimpse his other hand resting on the hilt of his French knife. A sure sign he smells trouble, and you know he's rarely wrong. Uh, Major Otakar Gazdik, I'm in command of this train. To what do I owe the pleasure, General? Morozov 
uh, betrays a look of mixed amusement and satisfaction, evidently unsure if the Major has recognized his rank by the insignia on his uniform or through his reputation as a hero of the Great War. A mere coincidence. I was visiting family nearby. Nonetheless, our encounter is most fortunate. I have a, pro a proposition, one of mutual interest. What do you want, Morozov? Do tell. I'm all yours. Indeed. And that's how it should be, my friend. Because it is in my power to ensure your safe passage through Russia, that is what you want, is it not? All you need to do is hand over your weapons. Give up our weapons to you? I don't think so. You'd probably use them to shoot us and then burn the entire station to the ground. You're not the first legionnaires to pass through here. Your countrymen handed over their weapons without incident. For your soldiers' sake, uh, do as I ask or you will regret it. Oh. I'm not sure you intend to let us be on our merry way, completely unscathed. With a full belly and a happy heart, I've said my piece, General. Start shooting or get out of our way. It's your choice. Morozov stares silently at Gazdik. You legionnaires shift unsteadily and unsling their rifles, which until now have been shouldered despite the obvious threat. Then Morozov slowly raises his hands and smiles. No hint of deception in his, his expression. He seems at ease, almost pleased. I appreciate your candor, Major. I think we both know where we stand until we meet again. With a polite nod, Morozov turns away, and followed by his soldiers, he boards the Reds' train and departs. Everyone's a bit rattled. The departure of the train reveals the station. There, a disaster. Start the mission. All right, let's deploy a squad. There needs to be three combat-ready soldiers in the squad. Let's bring everybody we got. More the merrier, I guess. You're downloading this now. Very excited. Good, Steven. I hope you enjoy. Sure. You miss Railroad Tycoon? Yeah. And there's a, a lot of great train games out there, though, like Transport Fever 2 and Transport Fever and Train Fever. And even City Skylines 2 has a little, a little bit more to do with trains, which is pretty cute. Let's deploy. Okay, I'm going. There's the train station. Oh, there's the some bodies. of the villagers alive. I think they need help. Yes? You live. I'm moving. Czechoslovak legionnaire is on our way to Vladivostok. Can you tell us what happened here? The Red Army came for recruits and provisions. We told them to leave, but they just laughed and took whatever they wanted. They killed everyone who resisted. We saw trucks full of artillery shells driving towards the river. My sister lives there. I'm worried sick. Please, help. We came here to trade for supplies, not to get involved in Russian affairs. But the Reds attacked us before. They are clearly up to no good here. We simply cannot risk the train. So we have to go and find out what is going on. Looks like they sabotaged the bridge. We'll have to fix it to cross. You can find tools and materials in a nearby camp. Right over New there. Remember, welcome. You think this is a little more XCOM and a little less Railroad Tycoon? Yeah, true. There's no... There's train management, but it has to do with just our train. So... Yes? Okay. Uh, but that's I'm a little going. bit more like Frostpunk. Orders. All right, let's grab some supply. I'm go Consider it done. Definitely not. On my way. I'm waiting.
Yeah, this is just after the Great War. Czechoslovak Legion All trying to go it. home. Uh, at the beginning of the stream, we we covered some uh, cutscenes. Uh oh, enemies are on the way. Cutscenes go through pretty well. There's also some great Orders? videos on Steam. Yes, sir. That are like actual like IRL. I'll see to you it. You know, modern recreations of some battles, which is pretty cool. I don't want to get wounded if we don't have to. Changing location. Maybe we can try to be stealthy. Okay, I'm going. Understood. And thank you, Professor Gaming, for 22 months. Yes, sir. Appreciate your support. Thank you very much. There's those enemies. Grenades will have to storm their position. Yeah, she's a medic, yeah. I'm here. I'll keep my head down. Assuming position. Okay, let's rush that guy's position with our bayonet. Go. Get him, bro. Nice job. Say the I'll see to it. Every bullet in this game matters, too, so if you lay down covering fire or something like that, that ammo just doesn't come out of nowhere. you got to find more ammo. Mick, thank you very much for the 40 months. Orders? Okay, I'm going. Yeah, I didn't even know about this uh, until the game was announced yes, and they sir. showed a trailer, and I was like, this can't this be true. Crawling with reds. But it is based on a true story. Consider remaining undetected for as long as possible. Just please make sure no one fires by accident. Gunshots are not very stealthy. Wait, wait, wait. Moving. Yes. Have our sniper go up there and. That why are you? Yeah. Gonna... Softly does it. New member, welcome. I'm gonna go up there. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Enemy spotted. Rest in hell, comrade. Taking cover. I wonder if we can kill those. Uh, I think one of them is going to see us. Now here's where it becomes a little bit like commandos. <laughs> like looking at everybody's view cone and to see if you can kill them silently. Say the word. Moving. I guess there's a little commando sprinkled in here if you're trying to be quiet. Uh, how do you find out how long you've been subscribed for? You know, I don't think YouTube has that feature, but I wish it would. Like, it knows when you sub, but there's no, like, public display of that information. Yes? We try a grenade. Finding cover. Taking cover. Let's try a grenade. Moving. But you can find out how long you've been a member. Uh, if you click or tap that join button. Right, let's lob a little grenade and see, grenade! see how that goes. We can also go into a tactical pause for this game too, so it can play out a little bit like a yes. a turn-based tactical location. strategy. But uh, Company Heroes has that too. Frag out. <laughs> now that the nasty business is done, let's see how bad the situation is. Better than getting our troops wounded. Right you are, sir. There's our repair kit. Found the repair kit. Lost. We've got what we need to repair the bridge now. Assuming position. Oh, I love that. Say the word. The vaulting in this game is great. Look at this. Taking cover. If there's a watchtower around, we should capture it to get a better view of the surrounding area. The troops can just easily jump over. A uh, jumping must make noise because this guy's still in stealth mode. Understood. Oh no, no, oh, okay. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's turn off stealth. I'm going. I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. There is a there is a ch fully voiced uh Okay, I'm going. Echo slow back voice actors. And I think that applies to the cutscenes too. Yes. Although I don't know if you could change that at any time. 
No, unfortunately, you have to change it only at the main menu. But the text language is available in everything here. Then it's fully voice acted in English, French, I German, wait. Russian, and uh, yes, sir. There's also voice acting for all the. Pretty sure the cutscenes for the Czechoslovak legions are there in that language, and these. Ready, sir. Whatever you call it when you click on soldiers to give to them it. orders, little voice emotes or whatever. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was a lot of work to localize. They did a great job with that. Those must be the trucks used to transport artillery shells. We must stop them. There's nothing a grenade can't stop. I'm listening. Hell yeah, brother. Let's just make sure we're not too close when they explode. All right, let's throw that grenade. Yes, if you say so. Oh, we also have a... Okay. Understood. Say the word. Let's Taking go up cover. here. Yeah, it's impossible to make a game nowadays without taking inspiration from many other games. So I praise games that take cool and good things from other games, like those developers grew up playing games like Stronghold or Company Heroes or, um, you know, maybe like the original Jagged Alliance or XCOM or whatever, and then they go off and make new games. Your orders. Like how many survival city builders are out there like Banished, but are also completely different? All right, let's let it rip, brother. Oh, it's gonna be a big boom. Let's see what's that. Woo! Hell yeah, brother. On the move. Let's that go. bridge looks perfect for an ambush. We should not proceed until we figure out what could await us on the other side. Does anyone have binoculars? Our scout does. Say the word. Changing location. We have two scouts. Don't we? I'm all ears. Understood. Yep, we sure do. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. All right, let's find out what's going on on the other Take side of the position. river. Yes, sir. Let's see what's there. Enemy. Oh, that's fun. They'll be coming for us. Let's set up the machine gun and give them hell. Hell yeah, sister. Oh, they're coming here now. Assuming position. Just a I'm couple listening. seconds. Assuming position. I'm listening. I'm all ears. Orders? If you say so. Your orders, sir. Yeah, let's use our focus fire. Here will do. Stand your ground. I'm all ears. Here they come. Hell yeah. The rest of them are not stupid enough to come at us after watching their buddies fly on the bridge. So let's call in an artillery strike and make those bastards pay for their crimes. All right, time for the artillery. Let's go. Off map artillery. And in three, two, one. Send it. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> we came here to get supplies for our journey. Yes, yes. Let's get them and leave this place. You guys almost died. I feel bad taking the supplies. The Reds must have stolen them from the villagers. The villagers are dead. And we will be too if we don't get moving. Ready, assuming position. Right, let's get everybody together and start getting supplies. Yes. Changing location. More pumpkins. Can make pumpkin soup, soup y'all. Orders. I'll see to it. That's cloth too. Your orders, sir. A better option, I owe. We can use 
Ravens cloth for uniforms and blankets. We'll be headed deep into Siberia and... And winter is coming. Carry on. What is it? One of the... Coal. Good. Fuel is the most precious resource on our journey. Isn't food our most precious resource? Oh, of course. At the next depot, we should buy a locomotive that runs on berries. <gasps> Berries. Maybe we can also burn berries to keep warm on the train as we cross Siberia. She's mean. I'm here. I think we're good to go. Taking cover. I'm listening. Taking position. Check for any other hidden supply. Moving out. Now oh, we're gonna meet up the train again at this level crossing. Whoever left all this ammo behind must be very proficient with the bayonet. Well, if my machine gun runs out of ammo, it's dead weight. I just call for artillery support. Moving. But I think some of these other soldiers in blue we can find in the battle, and I think they're like maybe legionnaires who maybe the reds tried to kill their squads and then they they ran away and were regrouping or they're breaking out of POW camps or something knowing that we're coming along something like that cuz those are troops that you can that's how you kind of get more recruits and soldiers over the over the game and it kind of makes sense that they would stay near the train tracks cuz that's probably how they were getting home too all right we get to sign some medals well, the sniper for that stealth kill, the machine gunner for that uh, holding of the line, and Joseph because that grenade throw, although I think that was the other guy, but whatever. He advised. He, he assisted. Good job, everybody. Lots of XP for doing all that side stuff. Equipment gained and equipment used. Two grenades and a medical kit. Rifle and machine gun ammo, too. Reminds you of Sudden Strike? Yeah, some of that reminds me of Sudden Strike 2, Blitzkrieg, and or Men of War, for sure. A fateful encounter. Back on the train, the soldiers discuss their confrontation with Morozov at the station, to, uh, as well as the violence the Reds enacted against the unarmed villagers. Most, though not all, feel that the artillery strike on the Reds' encampment was justified. Major Gazdik lost in thought. I think the Reds were expecting us, setting a trap perhaps. What I don't understand is why, and why now. Isn't Captain Langer conducting negotiations in Moscow? He is, but we don't know the outcomes of these negotiations. Everyone, get to your posts. I have letters to write, and the train is not going to get us to Moscow by itself. Dismissed. Storm on the horizon. Go to Moscow to meet with Langer, who will serve as an advisor. New legionaries have joined you. Yeah, so that was like the Grenadier, Medic, and Sniper. And they also bring rifles, too. So when we get new recruits, we get new equipment for them. Which is kind of cool. Like, you want to look over everybody's stats. Like, somebody might come along and be like a rifleman. And they might be an okay rifleman. But if you pay attention, maybe they're a really good cook. Or a really good... Um, maybe they'd be good as, like, in the medical car or in the engineering car. You might be like, oh, you'd be better on the train. Let's take your rifle. We'll give that to somebody else. And... Let's get you to be a conductor or something. All right, let's go. Choo -choo. Oh, I love this. It's like the whole map is modeled like how when you play it in real time, but then also there's the whole War Tales uh, perspective. Always take care of your soldier's health between missions. Take care of that. I think everybody's good. I don't think anybody has any wounds. Wow, look at all that. Wow, each car can be upgraded with like 19 upgrades. Surgery, instruments, disinfection... New beds, comfortable beds, stove, advanced stove, improved chimney, sturdy materials, better accessibility. Gee. And every car seems to have those, yeah. 
Additional living spaces, insulation. I love that. You know what I found out this morning too, Chad, is that there's a new, um, what is it, uh, Silent Hunter coming out, I think it was. It's going to be co-op too, which is pretty cool. Is this game only available on Steam? Well, the train is. <laughs> Bazing. Uh, but I don't know. It could it could be on Epic. Use code Raptoria at checkout if you want to get it on the Epic Game Store. I wouldn't imagine this being on like Origin or Ubisoft. Maybe GOG. Shopping list. You've been called into the office by Major Gazdick. Captain, as you're aware, we are low on some of the critical supplies we've got in Kunichi, but uh, nearly not nearly enough as we have a long way to go. There's a village called Kaluga. Send a squad there and have them buy more food and herbs. If they have some. Yes, Major, I'll send the squad. Uh, let's see, we need food, herbs, and cloth for bandages. Okay. Alright, we'll get across the river and then we'll stop the train. Man, I kind of just want to do road trip mode just to take pictures of the train. We got soldiers uh, with promotions. Get all the way across the bridge. I have uh, paranoia about it being blown up. Let's check out promotions. Maximilian was promoted to Lance Corporal and has an available attribute point. And he leveled up. Oh, we can give a. Uh, so there's fitness, dexterity, intelligence, willpower, and charisma. I got into a lot of fitness around uh, Thanksgiving. Fitness pumpkin pie, fitting all the this potato, all the extra turkey, a lot of fitness. Oh, he's got a dis oh, there's the distract ability as well. What's up, D? It is available on Steam. And, and not on Epic? Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Silent Hunter um, submarine game. What's up, Alvaro? You're an uh, amazing content creator. Hey, thanks for being in the chat, man. You make, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just me, but I think chat definitely makes all these streams and videos a lot more interesting. Hearing your guys' questions and feedback. So what do these do? Fitness affects maximum health, melee damage, time to aim, work efficiency, and some combat skills. Dexterity affects aim, reload time, work efficiency of doctors and cooks, and some combat skills. Intelligence affects work efficiency on doctors and engineers and some combat skills. Willpower affects critical health. Critical health. Work efficiency and workers and engineers and some combat skills. Charisma affects work efficiency of cooks and some combat skills. Hmm. Charisma affects work efficiency of... Oh, it also gives uh, different things at the bottom I did not read. Defense of Inspire Caution. Vision of Focus. Increases range of grenade and smoke bomb. Okay. Well, this guy's a scout, so we should probably give him maybe fitness, because that decreases his time to aim. But what increases accuracy? Dexterity affects aim. I think that should one should say... This one should say time to aim, and maybe dexterity should say accuracy? Because it says affects aim. Well, what? That's, does that still apply to... Yeah, I think we should go definitely one on that one. Cool. Anybody else? So, man, look at all the stuff, dude. Let's pause that. There is just so much stuff to learn. Antonin. Uh, he's a Lance Corporal. He is a machine gunner. Time to aim. 
feel like a machine gunner should be real strong because that gun's big o and heavy. Throw that one on. And then there's additional skills too. We change. Oh god, the show shot. French World War One gun just filled with mud and dirt. Could have been better. Oh wow, you can affect everyone's rations too. You can give every. Wow. The amount of stuff there is here is incredible. You can, like, you know, half everybody's rations and food is low, or maybe it's some sort of a punishment. There's both negative and positive attributes for everybody. Combat roles and train Like, when he's not, you know, he's a part-time machine gunner, part-time cook. And that's crazy. And then there's a whole bio. He talks, oh, th oh this guy is me. This is me. Talks about food nonstop, making everyone around him hungry. Perfects his recipes in his head. Oh, and it even shows where they got metals and stuff, too. This game is just layers and layers and layers and layers. And then it shows all of his consumables. He's got goulash, hell yeah, roasted meat, grilled fish, scrambled eggs, vegetable salad, caviar, apple pie, coffee, cigarettes, vodka, stimulants, first aid kit. Yeah, I, I'm there. You could be a mega pro at RTSs and management games and still miss a lot here. This is the, the attention to detail here and the amount of detail is crazy. There's so much stuff. Even pros of these types of games are going to love it. We also have to worry about fuel, food, money, wood, metal, cloth, herbs, and gunpowder. Looks like we have 250 Metallica CDs, wood, cloth. And this is our locomotive, the towing bull, which I think this is actually the armored one. I think. Yeah, and then we can see who's working at the cannon post, who's working at the machine gun post of the artillery car, and then there's day and night shifts for those. And then the ammo counts, too, for the artillery shells. We've got six artillery shells remaining. We've got 841 machine gun rounds remaining. My God. That's crazy. Yeah. This is a little bit like managing stuff in Anno, for sure. Okay, let's get ready to send a squad out to Beluga to go buy stuff. So, how do we make a squad? Okay, we could just send this squad out. Although, they will get tired, so maybe we could send... Uh... Ooh, grants better prices when trading. Who has that skill? Uh, let's edit the squad and we'll delete people. Oh, here you can see. Oh, there you go. Alfred gets better deals. The new guy. We'll send the new guy out. How do we remove? Need at least three soldiers in the squad, okay. Uh, let's send... Hmm. Uh, whoever's got the most stamina, I suppose. The other ones need to rest. A lot of negative debuffs here. Has a history of with the reds that needs to be paid in blood. These are good to pay attention to. Weak. Maximum value to fit decreased by one. Brawler. Aggressive. Monarchist. Chaotic. Then the uh, chaotic one. That'll be fine. Alright, we're sending our... Sniper, Rifleman, and a Medic. Actually, that's a uh, Grenadier. Alright, deploy. Let's go to Kaluga. Oh, the music's so good, too. The music is on par with Frostpunk. I can't wait to see more from Frostpunk, too. Can't wait.
All right. I'm killing beans. Shopping trip. Your people have arrived at the village and are meeting with the village elder. Welcome, soldiers. What brings you here in these trying times? We've come to trade. We need food and herbs to treat the sick and wounded. Hmm, I see. While I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, the boys of the Red Army have already taken all my extra food, military requisition, they said, for the good of the state, you see. But you can see Ilya's store. has a uh, He's a good lad. He'll have something you could use. Uh, tell us more about the Reds. Ah, uh, well, one would think that everything would be would calm down now that the Great War is over, but they recruit and re uh, requisition like they're getting ready for another war. We don't hear much here, but I'm worried. Thank you. How do I... Ah, buy, sell. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, that stuff looks good. Any palachinki? No? Huh. Yeah, the Reds would be the Red Army or the Bolsheviks or the Communists, and then the White Army would be the loyal monarchists in the Civil War. Uh, it's heating up. Okay, so left is what we've got. Right is what he got. We have no money. We didn't bring any money. Oh, wait. Yeah. 5,170. We can buy fuel, herbs, wood, and cloth. That is expensive as hell. Okay, so we can move one pieces. Okay. Let's buy maybe three of each. Oh, we're already out of money. No. Well, here. Oh, we can we can choose how much. Okay. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting herbs, but um, all the well, actually, he mentioned cloth too. Cloth for bandages, herbs for medicine, and then food. Unfortunately, we don't have that. But let's cut the amount of. Wood could be used for repairs. Fuel is ever important, as they mentioned. The Let's cut down on the wood, maybe. Go half. Still... No, we're good. And we'll keep the rest for a tip. All right, cool. Head back to the train. All right. We bought everything we could. One thing I wish you could see is the, the squad on the corner of the map returning. Like, when they go out on a mission. I think they kind of just... When they get close, they just kind of teleport inside the train. It'll make a noise though when they're back, and we do have the timer here, so there you go. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't know what view is more beautiful, like this view or this view. Both are gorgeous. beautiful so we're going to a small town called Moscow anybody heard of that before hmm. I 
think something bad's about to happen. In four, three, two, one, zero. Boom. All right, that was a little early. There it goes. Engine malfunction. Wow, how oh, unpredictable. Suddenly, a loud metallic clang echoes through the air and the train begins to slow down. It seems the engine has broken down. The Major Gazdik coming towards you with a frown on his face. Engine malfunction. The damn thing broke again, Captain. Assign some workers to fix the locomotive so we can continue to Moscow. And there's no point in waiting aimlessly for the repairs to finish, so let's take advantage of that. Send a squad to look for more supplies. We've got a long way to go, and we need to make the most of every movement. I hope we don't have any more surprises today. I don't have a feel. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about meeting with General Morozov. What are you waiting for, Captain? Get to work. All right, we're gonna do some foraging then. Now we gotta get a crew that's good at hunting and fishing. Or rather, foraging. And we also need to repair the engine malfunction, so let's do that. Engine broke down and train cannot move. Uh, repair. Time workers to start the repair. Work efficiency. Let's get the 90. Well, it, no matter what, it's going to be two hours, so. Oh, by the way, just as a uh, reminder to chat, do smash that like button. I do have a giveaway to do today for everybody. Uh, I'm going to do it regardless, but if you guys smash the like button, that would really help out the channel and um, would really gr be some great support. But I do want to let everybody know, exclamation point Discord, I'll be doing uh, lots of giveaways on the discord from now until the end of the year so i will be doing another one today i owe chat another one and we'll have some keys coming for some other games like ixion and some other management strategy games uh kind of like this but uh, more city builder like and whatnot too so there'll be tons of games to give away devs have been sending me a lot of stuff for the holidays to give to you so all you gotta do is subscribe smash like jump on the discord links in the description enjoy and uh, if you don't win today many more giveaways to go and i'll be doing more and more giveaways like increasing uh when we get closer to the holidays okay let's uh repair the train with i guess the most work efficient guy wait is it nighttime day shift is from 6 to 18 so let's put him on day shift oh oh you can assign to night that way okay let's put two people on it i guess so that's pro cop and David, I guess. Soldier has some other activity on the train. Okay. Ooh, 104 efficiency. All right, you two work on that. Oh, expected duration two hours, but this did cut it. Oh, you can. It does work. So if you work on efficiency, that can cut the time in half. Wow, cool. I like how they round it up too, like 197% just gave it an hour. That's cool. So the train will be ready before our scouts probably get back. Whoa, 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 chief, whoa. All right, let's do the lake. Now we got to make some new squads to go out fishing. And foraging. All right, let's see. Better do combat because we're going away from the train. Well, Maximilian here has good with nature. There's a chance of getting extra food from forests and lakes. All right, this will be the lake squad. You guys go there. Yeah, there's forest fires all around, yeah. I mean, war is raging, so towns are on fire. Random buildings will be on fire. Things will just be doing their thing, I guess. Already on something else. Oh, you can see what they're doing there. Okay. So coffee mug means that they're just, they're ready to go. And that's our herbalist. So he's going to go into the forest. So you three go fishing. Uh, 
10. There will be our herbalist to gather food. Okay. So let's send this squad to the lake. Squad to the forest. All right, go. Oh, why fast? There we go. Slow down, chief. Slow down. I think the slower the better on this one. I mean, we clearly quickly want to get back to Czechoslovakia, but uh, you know, not miss anything. Boom. Wow, the train's already ready to go. Outstanding. Uh, we'll move the train forward a little bit. Yeah, these guys are ready to search for food. Forging. Major Gazdick ordered your squad to send uh, to send a squad for food. Report, Major. We searched the area and gathered what was on uh, what was usable. Good. The situation was affected because Anton has the trait of herbalist. We also found some herbs. Oh, great. Some additional medicine. And we found some poisonous... Oh, God. This idiot. Not a good person, but a good haggler for sure. Can affect narrative dialogues and other events. Wait. He's good at haggling, so thus he ate poisonous berries? What, is he just greedy? Well, that idiot. <laughs> well, he's going to have to go in the hospital car. All right, you guys. Come on back. put him in the hospital. Okay, so... You goofball. Alright. Heal his wounds with Polichinky. Oh, he's gonna be healed in just a little bit. We need the Back to the Future hover train option. Yeah, it'd be a great mod. If you upgrade the train far enough, it'll be upgraded like Doc Brown's future train from <laughs> from uh, Back to the Future 3. Okay, let's fish. Be a little closer to this squad, too. We'll pick him up. Game has a train, too, by the way, so it is my game of the year. He's not greedy, he's just the taste tester. True. <laughs> you think it would have been the other guy, the guy who's good at uh, fishing then here, the, the guy who's the cook. I think that would be the guy who taste tests everything. We've all done that before, taste testing stew and frosting, batter and whatnot before you put it in the oven. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that rain too and the birds flying around. Little smoke coming out of the little village there. How pretty. We're gonna reach Moscow at night. Pretty, 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 pretty. 18 seconds. Where are the bears? All over Russia. They're every bear. I mean, where? Alright. Hey, we got lots of fish. Cool. The lake was full of fish. Unfortunately, we had no way to catch them. We tried uh, using a wire and a spear as a last resort, attempted to shoot, but we were only able to catch a few. 
Well, he was the best one to bring. Oh, I, I bet if we didn't uh, bring him along, then we probably would have gotten nothing. This is the guy who was the best at hunting. Oh, we got a thousand XP for it, too. But yeah, that was the guy we wanted to bring. Because this squad has, has a chance of getting better, getting extra food from forests and lakes. So yeah, it probably couldn't have gone any better than that. Somehow I don't think you know what Palachinki is. I know Palachinki. And Palachinki knows me. All right, let's go to Moscow. Seems fine. Oh wow, that's a four skull mission. Look at that. We're gonna die. Difficulty four skulls. Recommended squad of eight. Potential rewards: new soldiers, XP, fuel, metal, and cloth. Let's pull into Moscow then. Train is pretty. Yeah, I like trains. Wait, let me check here. Ill soldiers. Okay, he's still in the hospital car. Okay, cool. Idle soldiers. I think that's okay. We got somebody with a promotion. Joseph, Lance Corporal. We're going to do your level up. Uh... Increases range of grenade. Well, since he's a grenadier who's going to be throwing grenades, that would be cool. Uh, and then three idle, but I think that's okay. I mean, there's not really much more to do. Uh, what do you eat them with bacon? Um, I, I mean, I guess you could. Go to Moscow and meet with Langer, who will serve as an advisor. All right, we're, pull, we're pulling in. Into the heart of the storm. Oh my god, that train bridge! So cool. Yeah, Paula Chinky's great. You could eat them in a box with a fox. On a train or on a plane. I love all the foods like that. Hmm. Now we're here. Middle of Moscow. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, this point of interest can only be visited after the train has passed it. There is no turning back. This activity will move you to the next region and you won't be able to go back. Are you sure you want to continue? Incomplete side quests and deployed squads will be lost. Sure. Oh boy. Belly of the beast. Thick black plumes of smoke rise to meet storm clouds overhead. Moscow is on fire. Through the pouring rain, you can hear gunfire. Major Gazdik moves from car to car, pulling senior officers aside for a briefing to the rear of the train as it slows for the city station. All right. As you can see outside, the situation isn't good. There's fighting in the streets of Moscow. It's nothing short of civil war. But we have our orders. We must go in and meet up with Captain Langer and his unit. <clears throat> so, we are to locate Captain Langer and then depart Moscow together. This should be quick and easy, right? Let's assemble the squad and get into the city. Uh, do not underestimate the danger. One stray bullet 
and will be in the middle of a bloodbath, and for God's sake, don't shoot first. We don't want to make things any worse. Is that clear? Dismissed. As the senior officers fall out and shuffle past, Major Kazdik grabs your, grabs your arm and gives you a familiar, reassuring look. You'll be fine, Captain. Assign some soldiers for the mission. I trust your judgment. Have them locate Captain Langer as quickly as possible, but keep your wits about you. I'm expecting trouble. All right, well, let's disband these squads. We'll make a new squad. I think we're just going to bring everybody because there is a chance for everybody to get upgraded. Oh, he's uh, not feeling so good. All right, we'll leave you. Treated. Prevents loss caused by injury and gravely injured. Moved after three hours. He's still got 15 minutes. From eating the poisonous berries? Red, you, oh, yeah, Jinx. There you go. Oh, that's probably what happened. It showed that it was because he was... I don't even know how to say that word. A, a various? <clears throat> anyway... It showed this symbol of the diamond, but it should have showed this. Jinx nature, bad luck charm. Accidents occasionally happen to nearby soldiers. Oh, no, he jinxed himself when he ate those berries. Well, no, that was just stupid. All right. Oh, but he's also a burglar. Dude's a, uh, a loot goblin. Oh, burglar and communist. Yeah, that seems... Okay, um... Ah, you're coming along, Alfred. You'll get over it next time. All right, deploy. You can eat them with honey and sugar and so on. Yeah. Tell is good. Uh, whipped cream. Mm hmm A little powdered sugar. Oh, yeah. It takes the best cook ever to make polachinki. You have to be talented like mashed potatoes like once you boil the potatoes what do you do to them it's like jerry's egg fried rice recipe you have the fried rice but what ingredient comes next still doing all right let's go what the major that train is heading right for us at top speed no not the train No. General Morozov, I had a feeling we'd meet again. You are a liar and a coward. Also, wreck a train of soldiers on their way home when there is no war between our nations. You monster. Allow me to remind you that I gave you an option, Major. Lay down your weapons and you may cross Siberia in peace. More than fair. And the offer still stands, minus the train. Now, order your unit to surrender. Not happening, pal. You know I will not do that. Loyal to the bitter end. I respect that. May God rest your soul, brother Gazdik. No, that was the tutorial guy. No. Wow. Yet, Captain Langer, he must have a way to get us to Vladivostok. I've murdered Major Guzdik. We can't let this go unanswered. I'm waiting. Changing location. Well, F's in the chat, boys. All right, so we're not supposed to shoot first. But I got an idea. Oh, wait, be right there. I'll see to it. Enemy spotted. Understood. Yes, sir. I'm 
pretty sure they shot first. Yep. If anybody asks, us the living. I'll see to it. Enemy spotted. Oh, there's more friends. Finding cover. Ready, sir. Yes. Yes, assuming position. Taking cover. Awaiting orders. It's true, they shot first when they killed the major. That's true. Take cover. Let's lure them out. This will help us to look around for more it. supply. We'll run into patrols, we'll lure them Moving. back. Assuming right out. Oh, we're gonna I'll find lots of down. material. Understood. Yes, sir. Nothing over Be there. Right there. Take cover. Enemy spotted. Oh. I'll see to it. Can I go inside there? Yes, sir. No. Let's see what's there. Understood. Moving. Enemy spotted. We should wait a minute. Understood. Be right there. Yes, sir. I'll see to it. Yes, sir. Is he going to turn around and go the other way or what? Understood. Oh, he's facing me now. Moving. Come on, pal, move. I'm trying to get the stuff. Yes, sir. See to it. Let's see what's there. Be right there. Onwards! Understood! Got him. I'll take a look. Be right there. Sir. Ooh, rifle ammo. We're going to need that. Hey, Holly, welcome I'll back. Right ho. Right you are, sir. Finding cover. Yes, sir. We got one loot goblin trying to gather everything. Moving. Understood. Any supply up here? Take no. cover. Position. Damn, we're gonna get pinched here. Yes, sir. We're good, we made it. Right out. Woo! Be right there. Enemy spotted. Finding cover. I'll see to it. A lot of, a lot of friends over here. I'll see to it. Be right 
And the music's outstanding. Outstanding music. Understood. Ooh, explosive grenade. Yes, sir. There's the other side of our train. Anything in here? Understood. We can't go in there. Be right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring up more troops to clear those guys out. Yes, moving. Yes, sir. I'll see to it. Understood. Okay, I'm going. Enemy I spotted. Can. Orders. I'll see to it. Not yet. I'm listening. Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. They're all gonna come running anyway when we eventually get to the next part. That was all around the train station, so that's where the security was going to be the heaviest. Too bad we can't take their rifles, and like all the troops we just killed are clearly carrying Assuming ammo. Yes. They could have bandages on them. On my way. Rifles, obviously. Grenades. Understood. Consider it done. Ooh, machine gun ammo. Good. Yes. Consider it done. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. is it understood moving assuming Enemy. position so what now we just let that coward get away major gazdick would not want us to risk our lives just for the sake of revenge we should look for captain langer Per our original orders, he's been stationed in Moscow for a while, and we must know that coward for us to escaping in his car. Ready. Enemy spotted. Orders of something to hide behind. I'll take a look. Grab that cloth. Oh. Understood. So many of these guys. Yes. Righto. Taking position, definitely not. Moving. Yes, sir. I think that was everything. I'm all ears. Taking position. Assuming position. Okay, I'm going to do a little peek around for one last little, little bit of supplies, maybe. Moving. Okay, so now we got to meet with Langer. This is the guy we were here originally to meet. Okay, 
Okay. Don't see anything else. I'll see to it. Yes. Orders? Yes, sir. Moving. Understood. Too bad we don't have artillery. We can't go through that. I'll see to it. Taking cover. I'm ready. Going. Where is Major Gazdik? He's gone. It was that bastard Morozov. It has begun then. The Reds spreading their one truth in the name of unity. There will be civil war. Our train was destroyed. Most of our unit died in there. We must depart as soon as possible. There is another train we can board. Here is a map of the city. If you can reach this train depot, we can secure another train. Be careful. That's where we're going. The Reds probably know we're looking for a new train. We'll be guarding the depot fiercely. I will gather my unit discreetly and join you at the depot. Wait for us there. All right, I think that's the balance train, Safe too. Word. Understood. There is hope. Assuming position. Taking cover. Yes, sir. Finders keepers. Moving. Lots of MG ammo. Finding cover. I'm listening. Yes, sir. I'll pry it open then. Roy, get it out of yes. I'll see to it. Traditional. I'm all ears. Check voice acting. Assuming position. <laughs> sir. At least you have the option for that. It's pretty cool. Position. Moving. Just checking for any more loot and booty. Most certainly. You hope the dining car has roast beef sandwiches? Me too. As you wish. I'm just here for the train. Taking cover. I'm waiting. Enemy. Yes. Finding cover. Troll TV above me. Your orders, sir. Understood. Listening, sir. Assuming position. Wonder if the uh, scout gets any sort of stealth bonus. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, loot boxes yes, are. Loot, loot will appear on the mini map. Not certainly. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's the same place as every playthrough. As you wish. I don't think it's randomized each playthrough. I can cover. I'm Enemy waiting. Spotted. But I'm not entirely sure. Understood. All right, we got to clean out this train station and get the hell out of here. Awaiting orders, finding cover. Ready. I'm listening, assuming position. Yes. Order finding cover. On my way. Enemy spotted. We found it. Captain Langer was right. There is the train that will take us to Vladivostok. We should gather as much fuel as we can while we wait for the rest of the legionaries stationed in Moscow. I don't think the Reds will be happy about us trying to commandeer their train. This time, they won't even bother asking us to surrender our weapons. Yes. All right. Ooh, friend. We got friends. We made friends, chat. Yeah. All right, cool. Say the word. Yes, sir. Oh boy. I'm waiting. I'm not yes, sir. Ready. I'm 
Oh, they're coming up from behind. Let's let them rush, rush the machine gun. Ready as I'll ever be. Enemy spotted. Ooh, okay. Say the word. I'm waiting. All right. Oh, wait, okay. We're gonna keep attacking. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Right Understood. Enemy spotted. Yes. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Ready as all, assuming position. Ready, taking cover. I'm here. All right, let's go get these supplies and get the hell out of here. Don't throw the grenade now. Oh my god. I'm here. Onward, ready, sir. Should have stayed at home, kid. Finding cover. Oh, I wish you would have yes. shot. That would have been great. Assuming position. Right home. Enemy. I'm, I'll keep my head down. We're going to have a lot of wounded after this. Three man patrol going through there. Understood. Sir. Ready, sir. I'm here right there. I'll see to it. Orders? Yes, sir. I'm all ears. Yes, assuming position. Okay, let's get this guy healed up. Moving. Awaiting orders. There's more supply out there. Right out. Understood. I'll take a look. Yeah. Enemy spotted. Say the word. I'll see to it. Gonna have a lot of people in the damn hospital car. I'll see to it. Moving. Assuming. Gonna look for any other supply, and then we're out of here. Came up here. I'll see to it. Be right there. Moving. Sir. Oh, we need every little morsel of fuel and everything else we can get. Finding cover. I think we cleared out the station effectively, though. Woo! Understood. Oh. Yes, sir. 
Like I stand right next to one. Moving. I know some of our troops have a way to distract by like throwing a rock or something. Be right there. Take cover. I'll see to it. Assuming position. Bit of supplies there. I'm a better option. Yes, you won't see it coming. As you wish, taking cover for the Republic. Oh. I'm just sir. Yeah, that was weird, but all right. Yes, understood. So Yes. Yeah, if we get spotted right in silent there. mode, maybe our troop will go out of that silent mode? I'll see to it. A lot of our troops are wounded. Bad. Understood. Take cover. But we got all the supplies, so wounded is better than dead. Assuming position. Or red. I'll take a look. Better wounded than red or dead. Moving. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'll keep my head down. Take one last little peek in that corner there, and then we're out of here. Whew. I'll see to it. All right, everybody looks stabilized. All right, on the train. Let's go. I'm listening. Yes, sir. Fortunately, we can't bring that gun with us. Safe understood. Good job, everybody. That was a tough mission. Gonna bring the machine gun. Good job. The Reds wrecked our train and killed Major Gazdik and many others. We had to fight our way through the city and capture another train to allow the Legionnaires stationed in Moscow with Langer to escape. We tried and succeeded. Assign medals. Wow. Well. We had our scouts doing pretty good. Alfred was being all sneaky. Had a good job as well. Try to get everybody at least to level two. Grenadier, med. Uh, she's pretty good. Pretty close, but I'll bring her along. Probably next time because she's not wounded. I don't think. So she'll level up in the next one. Woo! Equipment gained. We got four grenades, two medical kits. Four smoke bombs, four landmines. Oh, five medical kits, and a grenade we used. We were wounded, but I mean, <laughs> wasn't wasn't it wasn't as bad as being dead. The regrettable events in Moscow claimed the lives of Major Ga Major Gazdik and many brave legionnaires. Orzov's savage attack will not be forgotten. However, the arrival of Captain Langer and his unit has helped with morale. All is not lost. The journey continues. Upon leaving Major Gazdik's demise, or learning of, Major, of the Major's demise, Czechoslovak Provisional Government sent orders with your promotion from Captain to Major. Not how you imagined to move up uh, the ranks, but here you are. The responsibility of leading the soldiers to Vladivostok suddenly rests heavily on your shoulders. Uh, the soldiers took the new leadership well, but Captain Langer uh, seemed taken aback. Nevertheless, Major Gazdik trusted Langer to serve as a valuable advisor. So will you. There are soldiers that joined us in Moscow. Ooh, that's a lot of recruits. I wonder if these are randomized.
I first met our commanding officer in Moscow. It was on the eve of the revolution, and the city was awash with fears of civil war. The Reds issued an ultimatum that led to violence. We lost Major Gazdik and many good soldiers. The Czechoslovak Legion was seen as a threat because we were a professional army with no clear allegiance. They wanted us disarmed, detained, and if we resisted, dead. But we weren't interested in the bloody affairs of that foreign land. All we wanted was safe passage out of Russia, to our new republic, to our home. And indeed, those were our orders. Reach Vladivostok by train and board a ship for the journey home. To my surprise, I was not invited to lead this campaign, despite my experience in the field. Instead, I was merely an advisor and adjutant to our commander. It was an outrage. But at that time, I had no good reason to challenge our provisional government. We barely escaped Moscow with our lives, but managed to secure an armored train for our long and difficult journey. Oh man, look at all that way we gotta go. That is a long way, bruh. There's that that was the first part of our journey just over here. So now we gotta get from Moscow to Penza. And then from Penza we can choose to either go north to Kazan or south to Samara. And then we relink at Omsk. And we go around uh, Lake Baikal. And like Cheetah again, we get to go north or south to Vladivostok. That's a long way to go, brother. So far, we've gone 287 kilometers. Music's good, dude. I don't want to leave this menu because it's good music. Yeah, 287 is rookie numbers. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a little shorter to Penza. Or maybe about the same distance. Alright, let's go. Major, I've been informed of your promotion. I'm Captain Langer. This is where the game truly begins. You may read my begins. service record later. I've been assigned to your unit to act as your adjutant. And, if I may be so bold... Your advisor. That was just the tutorial. Now, orders have arrived from the provisional government of the Czechoslovak Republic. They commend our heroic sacrifices on the Eastern Front, which helped secure the independence of our new republic. However, Russia is officially in a state of civil war, and our old wartime enemies have blockaded all direct routes westward. To go west, we must go east. On this armored train, from Moscow all the way across Siberia to Vladivostok, where we will complete our evacuation by sea. Furthermore, we've been instructed not to interfere in the conflict between the Reds and Whites. We are to remain neutral and let the Russian people sort out their own affairs. No mention on how we can stay neutral if we're actually attacked. I'm sure all this looked good on paper. Anyway, a long and arduous journey awaits us. We should leave immediately and stop at Penza for further orders. Bruh, that... IRL like full motion videos awesome after the fire a hasty retreat from the city left everyone shaken however as the new commanding officer you don't have the luxury of being in shock Captain Langer who is assigned as your advisor knows this very well and waste no time getting you up to speed major we need to travel to Penza for further orders getting there will be a major problem uh, in the wreck of the train Oh, in this wreck of a train. I thought they were talking about the other one. That's a wreck, too. Literally. First Lieutenant Voboda here will take care of the squad and logistics. Uh, my respects, Major, if I may be so bold. Now we need to focus on getting food and keeping soldiers' spirits up after what happened. Facing impossible odds. Uh, and with the storage car empty and without a hospital car, I'm not sure if. Yes, it'll be a challenge, but I... Oh, wow, we don't have a hospital car. It'll be a challenge, but I believe our experienced new major will manage with your, uh, with your help, First Lieutenant. The remaining concern is the Reds. They make it clear that they'll shoot first and ask questions later. 
Get a sit rep. Hospital car destroyed. To treat your soldiers, you have to rely on consumables and on doctors that may be willing to help for a fee at certain train stations. Artillery car destroyed. Artillery car is no longer available in missions. Resources critically low. Fuel. Have to gather or buy more. Safety comes first. Reach the city of Penza in one piece. Oh. Easier said than done. Wow. We're here at Moscow. We can stop at all these locations if we want to, or we can bypass them. It saves time and fuel. Time equals money and fuel, so... Or food and fuel. Weapons dealer there, and finally Penza. Like we can trade in a few towns. What do we got for cash? 1920 bucks. Oh, there's no saving either. Oh, unless there's a... Looks like there's a way to manually save and checkpoint. Oh, save and quit to menu. You can do that. All right. Uh, well, we're going to need a lot of uh, medical supplies. That looks to be food. The medicine and food and, and then a lake. Pull up here. Oh, cool. It'll tell you how long it'll take or how much fuel it'll, it'll take, really. Get the hell out of here. We're leaving. Oh man, that was bad. All right, what do we got? Three injured and promoted too. Get your will up then. Boost that for now. Our grenadier leveled up again. Oh, grenadiers do have a, a distract ability, or at least they can increase it, but his is dangerous mind passive. Soldier uses intelligence to inflict more damage. Oh. Well, let's lean into that one. Okay, we got three injured, ten depressed, one ill. Oh, so an injury is different than illness. So illness is still the guy with the berries. <laughs> Jerk. I know you can't see it. It's behind me, but... Wherever I move, I'm sure I'll be blocking something at some point. We have more promotions, so let's do that. Mm. Go up with dexterity. And you can also unlock a machine gun to roll. Time. Head down. Increases defense when healing or stabilizing injured soldiers. Oh, great. So she can heal under fire. Nice. Um, that's something we have to activate. Okay, that'll be good. Affects critical health. Affects work efficiency of doctors and engineers. Boy, she could maybe double as a... Oh, yeah, she'll double as a doctor, too. Let's raise her intelligence. Maybe we can keep her on the train. We got a lot of wounded, so, I mean, she'd be better on the train at this point than in the field. Our rifleman. Do dexterity too for reload. Alfred is a scout. Go with fitness for time to aim. 
Looks like everybody's will is just negative by 10. Well, I guess negative 10 means 10 soldiers are negative 1. Quick feet. Increases movement speed. Silent steps. Movement sound is silenced. That's pretty good. Quick feet and quiet feet. All right. What about happy feet? I'm going to get a pebble. Okay. Uh, promotions are done. So what do we have for cars? We just got three infantry cars and a storage car. Looks like each can hold 14. But we have zero out of 10? Oh, upgrades. Okay. Oh, so we're, we're completely full. What is that? Five? Six. So each car can hold six unless we upgrade, and we can't hold any more troops. We can also hold 10,000 supply, to which we have... Is this the total up here? Probably disband that squad now. We'll figure that out later. Alright, let's head down the track. So we can use consumables to heal, it seems. But can the... I mean, I don't think the injured can just take an herb and be good, right? Vodka stimulates first aid. Oh, plus 50 health. First aid, we only got six. Can't be deployed. I mean, I think we need all the troops we can get. And we need these guys back on their feet. But will that heal them so they can actually fight? This just gives health, but I don't know if it'll remove the injured trait, which will give negative health. Vodka will replenish morale. Yeah, we can upgrade train cars, and we likely can pick up more train cars, too. We'll probably be able to get a hospital car and an artillery car, but we'll probably have to steal them. Or maybe buy them. Over 80, it'll be removed. Well, one guy was at 81 and still injured. Train upgrades. Oh, here we go. As you sit and watch the horrors of Moscow disappear behind the horizon and ponder over your newly acquired pot responsibilities, Captain Langer approaches you, uh, curios uh, curiously inspecting you with his critical gaze. When unexpectedly, he speaks to you in a soft voice. As you can see, the train lacks a lot, moving us forward but won't serve us long in this shape. Shortly, there'll be more of us, and we'll need more space and, more importantly, heat. To accommodate as many soldiers as we can, we should increase the number of living spaces. Not to mention there is no heating or insulation. I don't advise crossing Siberia without heating. The storage car might need to be improved as well. There's a long journey ahead of us. A good supply of resources is of paramount importance. That way we might also think about reinforcing the cars. The train is in daunting shape. Cannot expect the Reds to make passage easy for us. It's only up to us to make the most of it, so keep that in mind. Okay. Toot toot. Well, we'll see if that he. That looks like healing, but. Uh, let's see.
Bum. We're going to be here for a while, I think. Crew morale, 42%. If that drops to zero, we're out. But he bails and his mission failed. Okay, let's get a squad to go to the lake. Need three. Is that a jester? Humorous. Makes a joke out of anything possible. Can affect narrative dialogue. Cool. Where's our hunting one? There he is. Cannot be deployed due to injury. Oh. Oh, oh, there's multiple skills that can get that. The survivalist can get extra food from forests and lakes. Nice. Oh, this guy can definitely go to both places then, maybe. Certainly will hurt the stamina, but uh, that's a bonus that's kind of hard to pass up. Let's bring the herbalist along. And let's send the depressed ones. Some outdoors would be good. Charismatic. Guy. Always busy with something else. And another medic then. Just in case. So the lake will be food. Timberland will be wood, so we're not looking for food there. And let's send another squad to the merchant. What are you, a haggler? He's wounded, though. Oh, he's treated. Right, Alfred, you're going to be on that job. Let's send her... Joseph can go. I think we better just do two squads at a time. What do we get if we get there? There's a merchant there. Train composition. Change the order of the cars in the train. Oh, there's also a doctor. A doctor willing to treat your sick and injured for a price. Squad one made it to the lake. Go ahead and fish. Uh, so there's two bonuses that could do it. All right, so nature, well, hunter and survivalist will give you like extra bonuses on both of those. That's Q. This is where the game truly begins. This is gonna be fun.
Okay. Now we got a merchant to deal with. Uh, well, we got a doctor up ahead of us. What do we got? 20 herbs. Six med kits. How much of those eat? 225? Gary, you enjoy the community? Well, thanks for being a part of it, man. Thanks for hanging out with us. Combat equipment. Treats wounds and injuries in battle. Oh, medical kit is different than a first aid kit. We have five of those. I think we'll just get two of each, and then we'll see if we can have enough money for that doctor. I don't know how much that doctor is going to cost, so... Locomotive strength, four out of seven. Finds how many cars can be attached. Oh, so if the locomotive itself takes damage, we might have to ditch cars? Oh. We could also trade stuff to the trader. But I don't know if I want to give anything up. We could give up some wood and then go log more. Wood could be used for repairs and upgrading the train. It can be used for crafting and research. Oh, in times of need, it can be dismantled for fuel. Oh, so wood also equals fuel. Hmm. We're about to get some. So how much does it trade for? 19? Let's bring it down to 500 and then we'll try to go cut down some trees. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's do even 15. And yeah, that only costs us 450. We'll save the rest for the doctor. I have no idea how much that's going to cost. So err on the side of caution so we can get everybody fully healed. Thank you. Bye. Okay, squad two. Let's send you to Timberland. And we'll pull up the train a little bit. Hi, train. I love you. You're pretty. Love that train, man. Yeah, we'll be doing a giveaway today on the uh, Discord as well. Pretty, pretty. Ready train. What do we got? Report ready. The lake was full of fish. Fortunately, um, Camille was with us. And it was like magic. Camille was able to pull one fish after another, making our trip a great success. My name is Borat. Uh, the situation was affected because so and so was a Welcome. herbalist. There's nothing to find at this time. Okay. Well, he kind of just came along for fun. Funsies. All right, go back to the train. And Gary, welcome aboard as a Raptor Plus member. Thank you very much for your support on the channel. Appreciate that. All right, Timberland is done. Major, we found and taken down a few good trees. Plus 100. Oh, great. I don't even know how much I traded, but that that's good. All right. That was a good first move. Have you RTT. Then we'll go to Colum Columna. Then Gorodna. I think these are all villages that we can potentially visit or possibly steal from. This village looks messed up. I think this village was destroyed by war, so I can see what's left. Then make our way to Riazan. This is uncharted territory. Everything from here on out we've never seen before. Well, we've seen it, but we haven't done it before. 
One small step for man, one giant train ride for Czechoslovak troops. event is happening. <laughs> Bro, did you did you sit in poison ivy? What the hell? Uh, as you're reading through the reports, you notice a blood stain on one of the papers. You look to see where it came from and you notice the blood behind your fingernails. It hits you. You've been scratching yourself for a few hours now. You discover a rash on your hands, armpits, and hips. A doctor is ushered in. Scabies, Major. There's little chance of getting rid of the scabies, given our situation. Oh, wonderful. Scabies. Aren't those like... You You can look that up. Is there anything that we can do about it? Scrub the train and everything in it. Burn the clothes and anything that can be spared. We will endure it. Wow, what a first... What a dr drastic measure. Rub the train and everything in it. That's not gonna. That's not gonna do it. I don't want to burn the clothes. It's horrible. We we need those. Scrubbing, I think, is useless. Probably too late. I think we're going to just have to endure it. I mean, these two options are good for other things, but not for this. We will endure. You're right. Still better uh, to be here than to be in the trenches. I say we get used to living with this. Now, the scratches are treated with some alcohol and scabies just become another hardship you need to endure to be able to return to your families. Oh my god, that affected everybody? Well, oh my god. Wow, what? It brought everyone down by 20. This game is brutal. What the hell? Bro, everyone lost 31 health. Oh my god. Bro, we just left my... I didn't do nothing. Oh my god. And we and there's nothing we can do about it. And it, and it hit the morale too. Oh my god. Bro, I just, I just left... I didn't... Oh my god. We're gonna die. Bro, I just pulled out of the station. Dude, you have scabies. One of interest can only be visited from the... Oh, after the train has passed. Oh, right, there we go. I stopped at one two second early. Oh, thank God we have a doctor, though. Maybe we can heal that up. Go to the merchant. Actually, let's go to the doctor. The low dude. Oh, that looks great. He must be dealing with some scabies. Nice job, dude. The whole, the whole exposed beard will be great in that uh, sterile surgical room. The lo local doctors offer to treat your sick and injured. However, the doctor can spare time and resources to treat serious injuries only. Both. Uh, factions in the Civil War are aggressively recruiting doctors for their own purposes, so those who are left have no shortage of work. Only soldiers with a negative status as injured or ill can be treated. Oh, this is only 100? Okay. 400 is a good price. So it's 100 per person. Yeah, we got to do this. 100%. And let's get this. We need one less thing to worry about. Treat that guy too. Doctors helped you're sick. Everyone seems fine. Okay. I wasn't sure about this game at first, but it scratches an itch I never knew I had. You have scabies. Yes, yeah, so you'll need to uh, find a doctor, dude. Train composition. Rearrange the train cars. Remember, the first car on the train is likely to suffer damage from obstruction on the tracks. Oh. Locomotive Grandpa. Name of our train?
merchant. All right, what do you got for us? We have 900 bucks left. Boy, health is just going to be brutal. Luckily, we didn't use any med kits or anything, so we have four. I feel like we need more battlefield uh, medicine. 156. Oh, the prices are different everywhere, too. I want more battlefield medicine. That means we can bring people back alive. With the first aid kits, that'll be all right. Who's to bear it? That's right. One hundred and eighty-five machine gun rounds or ammo? Is that rounds or like magazines? Gotta be ammo. Rifle ammo, we almost got a thousand. But everybody's going to use that. I mean, mo most most will use that. I'm going to just accept that trade and keep rolling. Oof. This is the type of game, too, like in Frostpunk, where your first runs is going to be brutal and you're just going to do horrendously bad. And I think some of that comes down to luck, too, but the more you play, the more you'll strive. Train, proceed. village. That's what we're about to visit. An obstruction, too. Okay. The obstructions will appear on the map. That's good. Might have to plow through it in some cases. There's also a village down there, Molino, but uh, I mean, we don't have a lot of money. One's a little closer. That could have provided a discount, though, but who knows? Can't stop everywhere. So Timberland and Forest are different. Forest is probably for forging? Yeah, okay. Now we got three tired soldiers, 18 depressed. Great. Okay, let's uh, go to that village. We need a burglar squad. The Loot Goblin Squad. All available soldiers. Soldiers with combat roll. And we're robbers. Extra resources from abandoned settlements. You're in. She's part of Squad 1. Okay, let's make Squad 1 our loot squad. Uh, okay, let's get this guy off the squad. A little too sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Extra resources from abandoned settlements. This guy, too. Man, the medics are just loot goblins. Damn. Okay, so squad one's now refitted to be loot goblin. And yeah, I don't know about buying anything. Like we got no we have no money. You've been stoked about this game, how's it so far? Really good. Uh, I've played the beginning part probably three or four times now, and that's like a good little on rails <laughs> tutorial where things aren't really different or whatnot. But now we're entering, 
you know, the point where we got to like choose whether or not we want to go to certain villages. I think we'll hit up all the ones that are abandoned. But our main goal right now is to get all the way to the east to the uh, city of Penza. Go all the way there. Little by little. All right, let's go here and check out what's there. I don't know if I can go to these towns to buy food. It's just... Housekeeper and burglar would be good here. That's who we sent. All right, what's ahead of us? Another uh, town, train station, and a forest. That'll be good for food. Food is at 52, so we certainly need some food. Chance to get everything here. And they'll be here for about an hour. Food, clothing, metal, and wood. Get some goulash. Your great-grandfather was a Czech legionnaire. Oh, well, that's awesome. Thanks for checking out the game. Not doing a sponsored stream or anything, but I just... This game ticks everything on my list of games that I've enjoyed in the past and one that I didn't ever think of this actually being a game that works, but it's pretty cool. And very um, challenging. Like, we just left Mas Moscow, and it's just like, hey, man, everybody's got scabies, negative 30 health. Wow. You may as well have just taken everybody and shot them in the arm. That, 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 that was brutal. Report ready. Report, Major. We went through the place. It was empty as it looked from afar, but the owners left behind some things we could use. Here's what we found. There was some built uh, bedding. Old clothes and curtains that we could use to cut bandages or to pad the walls of the cars when cold sets in. Oh, we got insulation. Plus 105. Plus 2,000 combat roll. Nice. All right, RTT. I'm going to skip that town because I, I don't really have a lot of money. But I'm going to try to find more food at that forest and that lake. Mic check. Here we go. A little nap, a cigarette, and suddenly I feel alive. What if there's an achievement for an all-female squad like an XCOM? Dude, there needs to be one for a suicide squad. Just rename everybody. Yeah, I wonder what the achievements are for this one. It would be cool to have little things like that, like an all-medic squad <laughs> that you send out. Or like an uh, all-machine gunner. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Look at that, dude. That's so cool. I love that. It's like a little model. Look at that. I absolutely outstanding. You receive a report from one of your soldiers. The intelligence he's obtained while chatting to a local when the train was making a stop. The report claims the Reds have a large camp where they're training newly enlisted soldiers. Apparently, many are queuing in hours to or in order to join up. The report concludes, they promised the farmers a helping hand from the military to tend to their farms. There are so few people left to work because of the war, letting food rot on the field or joining the Reds. The very end of the report is an approximate location of the camp. Oh... Send a squad to the Reds military camp. Oh, it's here. So we're kind of forced to stop at every station. The train will just stop, and then there's more um, events. 
Dual metal and cloth if we attack. Squad size 8. Ooh. Consequences of that could be dire. But we do have lots of villages to visit to build up for that, so... Okay. One of our side objectives, then. Alright, let's send a squad to the forest. Folks are tuckered out, but you're our best ones. Actually, wait, this... Oh, there was a squad that had the survivalist. Oh, this, this squad, squad one. Oh, they can go. Squad one can go up there. But can I also get the guy that's good at deer hunting? Or wait a minute. Hold on. Hunter, survivalist, and herbalist. Okay. Let's bring an herbalist. Yep. Certainly need the food. Maximilian, you can go. Yeah, I'm going to send that squad. Probably somebody we can cut, though, right? The medics. But we need to minimum send three. So that'll that'll be fine. Okay, let's move the train ahead. Wait, what's at the station? Oh, a pub. Ooh. Have a drink with your soldiers, raise their morale. Okay. That actually might be good. That's got fifteen thousand bucks. Wow. If we hit that Red Army camp, we might be able to steal weapons and then sell those. I would love to sell ammo, but... Yeah, the deer hunter, yeah. You don't see that one. There another, there's another timber area up here. I think we should keep selling wood. We sell... Sell 65 of it. That'll give us a thousand bucks. This guy's selling weapons. Sniper rifle... Mosin and Type 38. I guess we don't need ammo types. Just rifle ammo is rifle ammo. And that's one less thing to worry about. That's good. A blessing, actually. You guys only selling weapons, but I'd, I'd rather take the money. And then we can uh, use it at the bar. All right, let's go drinking. Hell yeah. <laughs> See what do we got? Talk over a beer with those disheartened. Have a drink with everyone. Why is this one more? This is eight twenty-five, but this is twelve hundred. Raise the morale of the depressed and broken. Raise the morale of all. Aren't these these are like the same number of troops though? Now let's just go all in. Higher number is probably better because you know, someone's going to find some minor piece of no news and share. 
Let's do that. Good. Huge bump up to the crew morale. That was good. Beautiful. Bendy as hell, but... Uh, you talk with one of your soldiers about the path ahead and the path behind and the decisions you made. Then you all toast to the homeland. You've improved morale, but for how long? Dude's exhausted. That's fine. Go take a nap. You earned it. Grand composition. I think we'll keep it as is. And let's go. We'll meet up with the squad over here. send out another looting squad. More wood is needed. Room morale is now at 82%. That's phenomenal. Okay. Um, another squad to Polachinki. Burglar and Housekeeper is the other one we want. I deploy squad two. Right. There's a lake there as well, so that's more food. And then there's a steam mill where we can trade. Steam mill could be food. I guess we have to think about like what each of these locations might actually sell. A village probably is going to mostly have food, maybe clothing, maybe wood. Bro, the weather is wonderful, the rain and stuff. I don't want to even beat up time the music and the rain and stuff. So good. All right, the forest. We can find food and herbs. Great looking game. I agree. Oh, please don't eat the berries again. Don't don't eat the berries, please. Uh, report major. We searched the area and gathered what was usable. Maximilian caught some game. Good. And Camille was helpful. Have found as nearly as much if Camille hadn't been there. The situation was affected because we have an herbalist. We also found some herbs. Wow, great! We found food. We found lots of food, and oh, that's great! For plus forty-eight, outstanding. Outstanding. Good. Okay, you guys go to the lake now. Uh, reroute squad one. And we'll pull up the train. Herbs. Game pause. All right, explore the village. Potential to find food, cloth, that metal? Metal and wood, yep. Obstruction. Major, the lookouts have spotted an obstruction ahead. It seems that a large tree has fallen on the tracks. We need to remove it. Ram it or stop the train. Hey, can't we just cut it out of the way? We have axes. Why, why, why damage the train? We have to stop anyway. <laughs> what? Pavel is mad that we just didn't ram a train on the train tracks? Pavel, go, go sit down. You're drunk. Oh yeah, the careless guy is mad that we didn't just throw the train to, to diff high 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 drive diff lock and just ram right through it with all wheel on. Idiot. Clear the track. Can we assign who does that? Are you sure you want to cancel? No. Oh, that's weird. There's no way to choose. When it comes to, like, maintenance of the train, 
we can choose who works on that. But when it comes to clearing a blockade, I, I guess just it's all hands on deck, I guess. Maybe the careless guy will be right sometime. Yeah, you're right. Like, if we're being pursued by another enemy train or something like that, or if they're firing artillery at us, maybe it'd be a good idea to haul ass out of there. There's going to be a reason we're going to have to... Yeah, in this situation, not necessary. But in the future, you could be right. Report, Major. We went through the place. It was empty as it looked from afar, but the owners left behind some things. We found a cellar with coal. Made everyone happy. There's never enough fuel. And we found a medicine cabinet. All right. Outstanding. We got one first aid kit. That's good. And a stimulant. Good. Great work. Um. Oh, there's a pub at the steam mill, too. Well, we already went there, so... Why don't you go ahead and come on back? I think we're going to skip the steam mill, but we're going to head here. Then we'll stop here and then go here and here, probably. We're getting close to going into that Red Army camp. I think this is what that song, The Gambler, was about with Kenny Rogers, you know, on a warm summer evening on a train bound for nowhere, met up with a gambler. We're both too tired to sleep. You know, that kind of thing. Right, let's go fishing. I think this is what Kenny Rogers was singing about. Kenny was singing about check. <laughs> he was check he was singing about the Czechoslovak legionnaires heading east, brother. If you listen to the lyrics, you know, it was, a ga it was a gamble, but it paid off. You got no one to hold them, no one to fold them, no one to walk away, and more importantly, no one to run. You never count your money. When the uh, cards are on the table, it'd be time enough for count when the deal is done. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. <laughs> Report ready. Major, the obstruction has been removed and we can move again. There was an accident. Someone got hurt. Uh-oh. Better than the train getting hurt. Oh, we get wood from it, though. Let's go. We can sell more of that for money. We'll get that man a band-aid. Oh, he was hurt, but he's not injured. Okay. So it just hurt his health. So that could go up over time. We'll meet up with the squad one there shortly. at the town, which looks like it's on fire. Great. This is cool. We'll be playing this for the next few days as well, so if you guys are enjoying it, we are setting in for the long run. The long haul, brother. I feel like this might be like Ixion. Hopefully we don't soft lock ourselves where we get into a situation that's unwinnable and we have to play over again. But I think that is how it's designed. All right, got some more fish. Plus 24, outstanding. Come on back. Once they're back, we're leaving. Frostpunk, but the Steam Core moves. That's right. Love that game. I've been waiting for so long to play Frostpunk again. I wanted to play Frostpunk for the longest time, but um, engineer missing in the locomotive. Auto, auto. Uh, we're missing an engineer. Why? Mm -hmm. uh. Maybe 
Make this guy go from driving day to driving night? Well, I mean... We only have three engineers. Oh, they're back on board. Okay, um, roll. Oh, I see. So we have an engineer. Okay, so we have to remove somebody from stoking? Oh, one of the guys we sent out was an engineer, too. This guy drives during the day. No, he needs time off. All right, sorry to press guy. You're going to have to... Mm -hmm. yep, you're in charge of the train. Well, that was good timing. The moment we needed to move, the squad came back. All right, cool. Could have been worse. Verminka. Um, Time to upgrade? Maybe. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Let's see. I thought we had to be at a station or... Provides ample space for supply. Repairs and upgrades can only be conducted when the train is not moving. Air durability. Yeah, you might be right. Actually, we're about to stop, so let's do that at the station. I'm guessing this is an easy recommend. Does anyone know how many hours estimated to take to complete? I guess that depends on maybe the difficulty you set. Lower difficulty, you can kind of just plow through things, so. I like this so far, though. Help is on the way. Captain Langer comes to your quarters with a military decorum that protocol requires. After knocking on your door, he announces his name and rank and requests permission to enter. You feel he's testing you, waiting to judge you based on how you react. You may enter, Captain. As Langer enters, you salute, a gesture which he mi uh, mirrors. You remain standing at to attention until you order him at ease, prompt him to speak. His expression remains neutral, giving no indication if you meet his standards or not. Major, there's an opportunity here that you should... Langer is quick to realize his slip of the tongue and corrects himself. Rather, you might find important... According to the posters of the locals, many nearby villages are looking for help. The war has depleted the workforce in this region. The Reds are taking advantage of this to gain new followers and pull people over to their side. We might want to try this too. Find a village and mark it on the map. I've already found such a village. He marks the location on the map. Permission to leave, Major? You grant him permission, he salutes again and leaves. Uh, all right, proceed. Help is on the way. So what, we're going to recruit local villagers? Okay, now we can upgrade the train, I guess. Repairs and upgrades. So none of the cars seem to be damaged too much. The f a couple of the cars look like maybe they're missing 1% of health.
the upgrades, though. Oh, here we go. Mouse catcher. Dead rat collector. Shelves, wooden barrels. Okay, so, oh, so the uh, storage car could be overrun by mice or rats. New living spaces, comfortable living. Uh, well, they mentioned we're about to maybe recruit more people, so. Um, and the infantry cars are all the same, so let's upgrade the first one. The new living space. 50 wood and 50 cloth. Take an hour and a half. How do we heat the living spaces? Oh, there's a stove, okay. Reinforced chassis and sturdy materials. Okay, so that so while we were stopped waiting for some of the squads to come back, that's that's a good opportunity then to maybe upgrade the cars. But again, we have to learn what that means. So, I'm gonna just take wooden cloth. So, how, how many spaces does that upgrade? Three. Increases health and morale recovery by one per hour when a soldier is resting in the living space. 50 wood, 150 cloth. Uh, you don't have to be in the station to do the upgrades, but you just have to be stopped. But you are required to stop at every station, it seems. There's like a little cutscene or whatnot. Got here. Well, this guy has cloth for us. Only a little bit, though. About the same price. Guess I'll buy some cloth, too. And then let's start construction. So we need to assign people to work. It's nighttime, so... Who has the highest work efficiency? 105. Okay. It'll take an hour, like hour and 25 minutes. The Beglum. Welcome to the stream, dude. A lot of people are tired, but we need a second helper. This guy can't do it at all. That guy assist. 48 minutes. That's good timing. 184%. Nice. Try one more. Anybody else over like 79? Doing something else. These guys have low stamina. Yeah, you can help. 30 minutes, cool. All right, so they mentioned we might get more people to join our train, so. Work on the train is in progress. Where do we get, where do we insulate the train? There. 50 wood, uh, 50 wood and 100 cloth. Oh, this is exact. This is going to be exactly like Frostpunk. As we go further and further into Siberia, it's going to get later and later in the year, and we're going to be in Siberia. So instead of the storm is coming and the city must survive, the train is going and the train must survive. And we're going to have to upgrade that insulation as we get deeper and deeper into Siberia. Oh, my God. Uh, you have your grandfather's silver pocket watch for his service. That is cool. Very cool. Hey, Seth. Welcome aboard. Hmm. All right, 
I think we want to save some materials maybe for money to buy other things, but definitely insulation will be important soon, very soon. Well, let's just get underway. The longer we're here, the more food we're taking, too. The Timberland will get us more wood. We can do more upgrades. Cloth is at 370, so that's good. Another lake, so that's good for food for a little while. I think we're going to end up fighting this red camp, I think. Okay. Go to the village of Baba Yaga. I need a group that's good at logging, so that's what. Oh, there's no beneficial traits here. We just need whoever. Okay. Got the most stamina. You guys could rest. Let's disband that squad. All right, new squad with a lot of stamina. Squad one. Yep. Oh, wait, there's the village there. Recommended six. Okay, that's the village we might be able to do recruiting from. Let's go over there. That's another side quest. So go to the village, go to the red camp. A lot to do. Well, let's get these done. Explore the village, and then we'll go fight a battle, finally. I think that a lot of this game now is going to be kind of more of the... It's going to be a lot of chess moves before you get to the battle. you got to do a lot of preparation, and so some players may be turned off with the amount of travel and prep work and, like, mining, crafting, building, upgrading, buying stuff beforehand. Not all just, you know, shooting and scooting. But that's also okay with me because Frostpunk, it, it, that, that's really where it simulates a lot of Frostpunk mm -hmm. with combat. I wonder if the second game will have any of that. Alright, what'd you guys get? Hey, we got 16 fuel. Good. Another village up there, but we'll wait. I think we're going to bring everybody back and get ready to go on that mission. Then. We'll go on the mission, and then when we roll forward, we'll buy any supplies we need, get more food. Actually, we can get food from the forest, too. So two opportunities for food, more random stuff, and then we fight the Reds at their own camp. Or we park outside. They might, have, they might actually be waiting with an ambush. There's a bridge there, so... Good opportunity for them. Cut down that lumber. Plus 95. Good. RTB. We can also move the train in reverse, I suppose. That's going to cost us fuel. And 
This town really didn't have anything for coal. But you'd think a steam mill would have coal. This squad. Oh, we might need the sniper. Oh, man, we're going to have to worry about squad temperatures, too. That's going to be a thing in the future, is sending the squads out in the brutal cold. We're going to have to give them appropriate clothing. Man, another layer. Bro, this thing is just a burrito of content. Yeah, an onion. Okay, food I'm not too worried about. Fuel's kind of worrying. Take a lot of stamina to get there, though. But regardless, everybody's resting. Okay, let's disband squads for an attack squad. They recommend six, but I would like to send more. Increase our chances. Create a new squad. Okay, we certainly need a medic. Certainly need a machine gunner. Joking. Um, significantly decrease reload time. You know what? You might, yeah, with training going nowhere. You're coming with. A rifleman. Increases XP gain of any combat role with mission. Sniper. Grenadier. No, we got a lot of rifle rounds. We should bring another rifleman. Uh, stoking. Now uh, we'll figure out the train when we get back. That's six. That's minimum. Want to send a few more, though. <laughs> Short. Slightly decreases the chance of being hit by the enemy. Good job, Pavel. Bring her, too. Is that eight? That's seven so far. Everybody's going to be exhausted after this. Yeah, I don't know. Well, see, I don't know if the seasons are being affected by the time we take in these missions or if it's just kind of locked into the overall journey, like the different chapters will have different weather. And I think that's probably the way it is. Bring another sniper along. We got two snipers, a couple riflemen, machine gunner, medic. Firm. Deploy. And they're on their way. All right, cool. And we want the train sitting right where it is. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, I think we we mostly want to, as they mentioned, fuel is going to be incredibly important. We could use the wood for fuel, though. Do I read the chat? No. Very nice. All right, chat. Well, we're out of time for the last train home for today. A phenomenal game. I've enjoyed this immensely so far. So we're coming back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Smash that like button, everybody, because we got a giveaway today as well.
on the Discord. And uh, if I miss any, I'll, I'll drop a couple extras just in case I miss one here or there. But our moderators will also do giveaways and whatnot. But hey, guys, smash the like button, subscribe, become a member, click or tap that join button. You too could be a member and get access to all those emotes and more. Name highlighted in green, big O shout out, badge next to your name, and lots of other perks including avoiding the slow mode and extra things on our Discord too. So enjoy. I'll be dropping uh, something today, a building game for you all. So do enjoy and we'll be back for more of last train home tomorrow and the day after and we'll continue on playing because this is phenomenal and lots of fun we're only just getting into the um first mission so what is this legion tales coming soon pre-order they got a new game coming out already too another game about the czechoslovak legion oh huh. i want to check that one out all right guys i'll see you all in a bit for our next big o stream thank you very much for watching